A married couple has been sentenced by Kingston Crown Court for making fake bomb detectives detectors in their garden shed. Sam Tree from Bedfordshire was jailed for three and a half years. His wife Joan was given a suspended sentence. Well, each device cost just a few pounds to make, but was sold for as much as a thousand pounds. Caroline Hawley has this report. From their suburban home called Treetops, Samuel and Joan Tree were involved in an international scam that reached across several continents. It was here that they assembled their Alpha 6 devices in their garden shed. They were made with cheap radio aerials and plastic boxes from China. There's nothing in it. Um, it's, it's a black plastic shell. The Alpha 6 was one of several similar devices sold at vast profit. With outlandish claims they could detect everything from bombs to drugs all powered only by the user's static electricity. Today I couldn't say to you, have lives been lost? I've got no direct evidence of that. But I'm extremely concerned about the fact that for a number of years, um, military and police forces around the, the world have been using this to try and detect explosives. Um, and when none have been detected, have moved on thinking that that area is clear. In Baghdad in 2009, a series of bombs helped raise the alarm about the devices, which were being used at checkpoints. But the scam's origins date back to the early 1990s. It all began with this, a novelty golf ball finder sold in the US. It was then relabeled and marketed as a detector for explosives and drugs. In 2001, this former Home Office scientist tested an almost identical device. We singled out this device as being particularly want to avoid because we felt the claims that were made for it were completely misleading and it actually had no merit whatsoever and um, that was way beyond what we would normally have said. Joan Tree walked out of court today, her sentence suspended, but her husband is behind bars. The couple were told the claims they'd made for their device were akin to something out of Alice in Wonderland. Caroline Hawley, BBC London News.